So this is a Sprite Major 6, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got your hitch and jockey wheel etc. Uh, that's something we'll go through in person when we drop the van off with you. Front locker you've got your gas bottle with reverse thread fitting going to the bottle itself at the top and then your gas valve on top to open and shut the gas off. Spare wheel in the front locker also and then you've also got your water pump down the bottom there as you can see. On the side of the van at the front here you've got your uh, Truma heating vent for the, when you're running the van on gas, so your gas flow essentially. And then you've got your wind down leg on either side at the front of the van. You've got your water pump connection, so you connect your water pump into the side of the van and drop it down into the aqua roller itself. Battery box, unfortunately not open at the moment, but your battery box, you've got the battery in there and your mains power lead coming into the side of the van as you can see. Power switch also in there which I'll demonstrate in a moment when I've gone through the rest of the van. Motor move, like I said, I'll demonstrate that in a moment and we'll talk the wheel nuts before the caravan is delivered to yourselves just so we know they're done correctly. Then you've got your grey waste pipes. So your grey waste pipes come out the side of the van and drop down into the waste master itself. Back of the van at the top, you've got your toilet flush tank. So this tank here will take three and a half litres of water and a capful of the pink fluid before use. And at the bottom, we've got the toilet waste cassette. It hasn't been cleaned yet, so bear with me. Uh, the guys are washed, cleaning the van at the moment. Pull the cassette out. You've got your pressure relief button on the back, so if you're tipping the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. The neck here will turn out, again, so the waste can t uh, pour out of there. But before use, you'll need to put one litre of water in and a cap full of the blue fluid. On the back of the caravan, you've got your wind down leg on the other side, just for the purposes of handover. We've got only got one leg down uh, on the van, but you'd have all four down when you are using the van on site. At the back of the van on this side, you've got your storage locker. So... Um, you can access the storage in, underneath the bunks, just inside the van, as you can see. And then you've got your fridge vents coming down the side of the van. Um, that will let out the hot air at the fridge unit itself. Wheel and motor move, like I said, we'll come back to. Then you've got a gas point, or sorry, three-pin plug on this side of the van, so you can put power to your awning. And then you've got your other wind-down leg at the front. Going inside of the van. So inside of the van, above the door, you've got your mains power on, so you'll press the button here and the mains power will come on. As you can see at the moment, it's already turned on. You've got your leisure, leisure battery voltage on the left hand side, so as you can see it'll bring up the voltage just here. The power coming into the caravan is uh, simplified at the top here. So you've got mains power post here and the mains power coming into the caravan. And then if you connect to the car, it'll come up with a red light on the car and a green light on the caravan to let you know you've got 12 volt going to the caravan when you are towing. So that will charge the battery system on board the van while you are towing it down the road. Up on the side here, you've got your controls for your heating and hot water, which I'll go through in a moment. Combi boiler on this side, um, and then your water temperatures on the right hand side, which again, I'll go through in a moment for you. So first thing you're going to do is connect the water up on the outside of the van once the legs are all down and the van's uh, stable. Then underneath the seat on the far side of the caravan, you're going to look for the yellow valve, which you can just about see in the video just there. Do apologise, the light isn't with us at the moment, but uh, the yellow valve that you see underneath the seat, when it's pointing upright, that means the water system is completely drained down on board the caravan. When that valve is flat and parallel with the floor, you'll be able to fill the water system. Once that valve is par parallel and you've got water connected on the outside of the van, what you'll need to do is, is come over to each tap on the caravan, turn the tap to the hot side of the water heating, so as you can see here, the red on the tap. The same with the one in the bathroom, on the sink, and then the shower as well. So they all need to be turned so they're on the hot side of the water heating. And at that point, with the valve shut underneath the seat, you can turn on the water pump. So the water pump will now start drawing water from the onboard water tank or from the aqua on the outside of the van up to the onboard tank inside of the caravan. I'm going to turn the pump off for a second because we haven't got any water connected. But once the water system is full, you'll get water running continuously from each tap and then you can turn off each tap once it is running continuously from each one. To start with, it will spit and splatter a bit like when you turn the water on at home and the water's been turned off. While it's doing that, it's just trying to get the air out of the system. Once you're at that point, you can start warming your water on board the van. So what you've got here is on the right hand side, a bit like a combi boiler 
that you have at home. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the video to clear up before I start talking about this. So what you've got on the on the side here is you've got a dial on the outside to select the power source you want to use. So as you can see at the moment, it's at 40 degrees of water temperature on, on mains power, 60 degrees on mains power, ignite it on gas, you spin the dial around to the gas symbol here. The red light will illuminate, uh, the green light will illuminate here when it has ignited on gas. If it fails to ignite for any reason, it'll come up with a red light on this side. When you are just on the gas on its own, it will warm up to 60 degrees of water temperature, uh, 40 degrees of water temperature, shall I say. And if you want to boost it for showering, for instance, you can use the gas and the electric at the same time and it will take the water temperature up to 60 degrees. You can also control the temperature if you wish to. When you have got it on the 40, for instance, you can control the temperature on the dial on the right hand side. To control the heating, you'll spin this dial here to the power. So as you can see, we've got one bar of power, two bar of power, so that's 500 and 1000 watts of power coming into the caravan. If you want to use the heating on gas, you'll control it on the gas just there. Gas, so it boosts essentially 500 watts and gas at the same time. I do apologize, the video is blurring, but I think it's due to the light we've got inside today. And then a thousand watts of electric and gas at the same time. Um, to control the temperature, you'll actually use this dial here. Once you have got the power, or once you've got it uh, on the right power setting here to what you want to use, you'll control the heater temperature on the dial on the right hand side. Microwave, pretty self explanatory, works like your household microwave. The fridge, again, very simple to use. Turn on the power on the button on the left-hand side. The fridge will come on. You've got gas on its own. So it will self-ignite on gas. If it fails to ignite, it will bleep and let you know. To change the power source, you press and hold the grey button and then go left or right, depending on which way you want to go. If you're towing down the road, you can put it on 12 volts so the fridge works as a cool box. Hit the grey button to set. And if you're on mains power, if you're connected to mains, then I'd advise you use the mains as the main, pa main power source. Hit the grey button to set. Then with the arrows, either side of the grey button, you can control the temperature of the fridge up or down. To select again, you press the middle button, the grey button, and that will set the fridge. Turn off the power to the fridge, press and hold the power button, and it will turn back off. Electric ri oh, sorry, three ring grill on this particular van. As you can see, so you've got gas on all three uh, hobs, uh, hob rings, controlled it on the controls on the front and you're ignited just there. Same with your grill and oven. Bed area at the back of the van, very simple to use. Put your uh, bedding on, etc. and that'll be the bed set. The bed here, you use the table in the centre, you drop it down onto the rails at the side, uh, fold the leg up and that'll set the bed at the bottom and you'll use the cushions either side to make the bed area up. Same as the bed at the front, you'll pull out this bottom rail just here, pull it all the way along, all the way to the end, and that'll allow you to make the bed area up. You will need to put the outside cushions into the center and spin these cushions round to the outside so you haven't got this humped part underneath your back when you are sleeping. The last thing on the inside of the caravan I'm gonna go through is the toilet system. So when the toilet system is ready to go, or when the toilet sets in, you'll press the blue button on top to flush the tank. You've got an indicator light just there that indicates when the toilet set is full. And then you've got your waste handle just on the bottom here, which you'll need to open up the waste flap so you can uh, allow the waste to go down into the cassette at the bottom of the van. As you can see, the cassette's out at the moment, it's just been cleaned. If you have any further questions on the van, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll be more than happy to help. The next part of the video will be about the motor mover and then the video will end. Thank you very much. Bye bye. So to engage the mover up against the wheel, you've got the bar here, which you'll put onto the nut on the side of the van and you'll pull the bar over and lock it into position as you can see. A little bit dark outside as I said, so unfortunately we can't see fully tonight. Just gonna grab the keys. To so once you've got the gauge room, uh, in, motor mover engaged, you'll grab the red power key. You'll go around to the locker on the far side of the van. You'll disconnect the mains power. And then in the back there you'll see you've got a black socket with a little cutout where that little silver piece there will go into. You'll put it into place. 
turn the power key 90 degrees and that will turn the power onto the movers. You can then release the handbrake. And you'll then be able to get the controller and you'll double press the power button and that will then engage the mover and as you'll see when I press forwards the van will move forwards when you press the button back the van will move backwards and forwards as you can see You've got your turns each way can't move the van very far at the moment we've got it uh, connected to power etc or the cleaner to clean the van and you'll see the van turning in the background there so the mover is working as it should um, and that's the end of the video oh sorry turn the mover off you'll press the red button twice uh, the power button twice and that will turn off you'll then pull the handbrake back on turn the power off and the locker in the side and remove the key most people leave it in the tray at the bottom there and then you'll disengage the mover on the other side of the van disengage it and at that point you're either ready to tow or you're set up on site I'll just show you how to turn the control panel off just come inside hit the power button twice and as you can see all the power inside the van will be off so if you've got any further questions, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.